In this video, we are going to learn about the human nose, a fascinating part of your body. Yep, there it is. This little critter is investigating the human nose. He's like, hey, what is this thing? What is this thing? That is what we are going to find out in this video. You already know that your nose is a part of your face, isn't it? It is right in the middle of your face. Your nose is not only a part of your face, though. Your nose is also part of something called the respiratory system. Wow, can you say that? Respiratory system. Okay, well, what does that mean? What is the respiratory system? Well, the respiratory system is what allows you to breathe. Without the respiratory system, you would not be able to breathe. Your nose is a part of that system, allowing you to breathe in and out. In fact, your nose is usually the first step in the respiratory system. It is like the entryway for air to get in, and it is the exit for air to get out. We say the nose is usually the first step in the respiratory system because you can breathe in and out using your mouth, but the nose is used more often for that purpose. We will let you know why in just a little bit. So, the nose is usually the first step in the respiratory system. This is made possible by two entries into the nose. Do you know what those entries are called? Yes! Nostrils! The human nose has two nostrils, allowing air to get in and out. It is great that we breathe in and out through our nose. You see, there are small hairs in your nose that get air ready to be received into your body. These hairs warm the air that comes in and also block large particles from going into the rest of the respiratory system. And no, the hairs aren't purple, but that would be cool. That would be neat. So, the nose is usually the first step of the respiratory system, being the entry for air to get into your body, and there are special hairs that block large particles from getting into the rest of the respiratory system. When you breathe in through your mouth, nothing gets blocked. Great job, nose! Your nose has another really important purpose. What do you think that is? Yeah, smelling! What is interesting is that your nose itself doesn't do any smelling. It is just where the air gets in. Behind your nose is something called the nasal cavity. On the top of the nasal cavity is a nerve called the olfactory nerve. The olfactory nerve has many nerve fibers, as you can see. It is connected to the brain and sends smell signals to the brain so that you know what something smells like. A fun way to remember the olfactory nerve is to think of an old factory. An old factory might not smell good, right? <laughs> so just remove the D from old factory and you'll remember the olfactory nerve. The olfactory nerve lets you know whether you smell a flower or a skunk. Ooh. When a skunk sprays you, woo, the olfactory nerve on the roof of your nasal cavity will be telling your brain, Emergency! Help! Help me! Help me! Bad smells! Help me! The olfactory nerve at the roof of your nasal cavity is very powerful. Did you know you can smell as many as one trillion different smells? That's incredible! Good smells, bad smells, and everything in between. 
By the way, most grown-ups don't know what the olfactory nerve is. Just let them know that the olfactory nerve is what allows your nose to smell things and you'll be able to teach them something new. Woo, that's cool. Smelling has another benefit too. Without your olfactory nerve, you wouldn't be able to taste as well as you do. You see, smells enhance taste. That's right. That is why your food isn't as tasty when you have a stuffy nose, for example, because you can't smell the food as well. Your nose is part of your face. It is the main entrance to the respiratory system, and it is where air often leaves your body as well. You also learned that behind your nose is the nasal cavity. That's right, the nasal cavity. And at the roof of the nasal cavity is a very special thing called the olfactory nerve, which is connected to the brain and sends smell signals to the brain so you know what you're smelling. And the olfactory nerve is super powerful and it's able to tell the difference between one trillion different smells. I mean, it's so powerful. And you're going to impress people by knowing what the olfactory nerve is. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. That is pretty amazing, isn't it? You did a great job learning about the human nose. You did. You really did. I'm imagining right now that I'm smelling cherry pie. Mmm. Oh, man. Cherry pie is so yummy. I don't, I don't share cherry pie so well. I don't know I don't, that smell. It's the olfactory nerve, and it sends that signal right to my brain. Right to my brain. Thank you, olfactory nerve. Thank you. You do a really great job. <laughs> I'm really glad cherry pie doesn't smell like an old factory. That would that would be really bad. That would be really bad. 